Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the Tarot Advent Calendar, a non-tarot related video today, uh, because today is Sinterklaas, um, it's Saint Nicholas Day today, and uh, that is celebrated in um, Holland, in Belgium, and I think even in Germany, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we always consider um, Sinterklaas to be sort of um, Santa's cousin <laughs> um, and it has quite a bit of similarities except for we celebrate it on um, the day of the 5th and sometimes sort of like the evening of the 5th um, yeah but before I get into all that I do want to put out a little disclaimer um, it might be a touchy subject for some people um, and uh, touchy because of a racism issue um, linked to this um, yeah so beware <laughs> uh, yeah I'll explain right Sinterklaas Saint Nicholas is a saint he's originally from Turkey um, but the story that we were told as kids is that Sinterklaas has a beautiful palace in Madrid in Spain and every year he um, comes to Holland on a boat, an old steamer, um, with his helpers and this is where the racism is involved um, uh, and all the presents for all the kids in Holland. He has a horse, a white horse, called Americo, Americo, which I don't think, I don't think he even had a name when I was little. But anyway, Amerigo is his horse and he rides over the rooftops and delivers the presents through the chimney. Yeah. He delivers them into your shoe. Uh, kids put their shoe out with like a drawing or their wish list or something like that. A little bit of hay for the horse, a carrot for the horse, some water for the horse. Um, yeah, and you sing Sinterklaas songs, there's so many of them. Some of them really, really old, where um, you think, like, I don't even understand what those words mean. Um, and things have sort of changed over the years. Um, when my mum was little, uh, Sinterklaas was really like, oh, you have to be really, really good. And if you're not, you will get a bunch of sticks in your... Um, in your shoe and you won't get any presents which is sort of like the coal that um, Father Christmas will give in your um, stocking if you're not good um, but yeah and this all happens on the 5th sort of the evening of the 5th um, some families will get a knock on the door and there's like a bag full of uh, presents um, other people will get a note through the door saying, look up in your loft, there's presents being left there. Um, in my family, um, we would go to bed on the evening of the 5th and then on the morning of the 6th, there would be presents on our um, family table. Um, so yeah, uh, a, a really lovely time for kids. Um, but then, Sinterklaas is an old man. He's a couple of hundred years old, right? So um, he can't do all this by himself. Now, uh, Father Christmas, he's got his elves who work in his factory making all the toys, but he does all the delivery by himself, right? Uh, Sinterklaas doesn't. Um, Sinterklaas arrives sort of um, late November, I think this year it was around about the 19th of November, um, and he will already start visiting kids. Um, before the 5th, uh, you normally get like little bits in your shoe, um, some special Sinterklaas sweeties, um, um, or like little presents, they call them shoe presents, are being delivered. Um, that's if you're good and you've sang a nice little song. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's sort of like three weeks of, like two and a half, three weeks 
of constant like oh Sinterklaas might come and uh, Sinterklaas comes to school he often comes to your parents work um, if you're in any kind of club or um, after school thing he might show up there or his helpers will um, now his helpers as I mentioned Sinterklaas delivers stuff through the chimney so his helpers have got blacked faces and this is where it gets a bit tricky um, a couple years ago there was a lady from the United Nations who stumbled upon this tradition and went hang on a minute that's racist we need to we need to look into this um, and um, when that story broke a lot of people at first were like oh don't be so silly it's not racist we don't mean it to be racist Swarte Beat is black because of the chimney don't be silly um, but then more people started to go well hang on a minute maybe there is something to it uh, because Sinterklaas is a white man and these black figures um, are his helpers they are less than him um, even though I never thought of it that way I can understand why people might feel that way and um, there's been people of colour, I, I never know what to say because you're not allowed to say black people or are you, I don't know, people of colour or is that not the PC term anymore, I, I don't know, anyway, um, there's been people with a darker skin tone who've been uh, in the media uh, complaining about the fact that they too have been um, um, called names and been sort of like, hey, Zwarte Beat, blah, 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 da, 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 uh, because Zwarte Beat is his name. Uh, male or female, doesn't matter, Zwarte Beat. So, Black Pete. Um, and um, they said like, that, you know, this whole uh, Sinterklaas festivities isn't a lot of fun for us because of this. It, it's hurtful and we want Zwarte Beat to not be swart, not be black anymore. Um, now, with all that, I've got a picture of, I hope you can see this all right. This is in the class. See, he's a very, um, some of the pictures of like the Hierophant remind me of Sinterklaas. the class. He's got, a, it's not, this is a Zwarte Beat. He's got the book that has all the names of all the kids and what they want and if they've been good and all that. Um, these are the outfits that Zwarte Beat wears. So there's the curly hair. Um, they used to have like the uh, gold hoops. Um, they used to have really bright red lipstick. That has been toned down quite a bit. Um, and now there's also, they've been trying different things with Zwarte Beat. They've tried different colours, that didn't really work. They had clowns, that didn't really work. Um, they're now sort of going with the um, s like actual, like, because um, traditionally Swarte Beat is completely black, see? You get heavy, heavy uh, uh, makeup on your face um, and uh, it's like all over your face like up until sort of like here so nothing shows it's in your ears it's in, it's everywhere i've been to after beat before it it was brilliant i really enjoyed it i was um the kids really love it because Swarte beat is the one who hands out the sweeties and uh, often the one who hands out the presents he's not as um cinder clouds can be quite a bit intimidating i always found um and and Svartabi makes it a bit more fun and he sort of like breaks the ice a little bit for the little ones um but yeah i can see why people would go hang on a minute um plus um the outfits are sort of reminiscent of um uh, 1600 uh, spain and that's an era where Spain was heavily into the slave trade. So yes, there is points to be made for the anti um, side of things, but also for the pro because a lot of people who are sort of 
Afro, Zwarte Beats. Honestly, honestly, never thought anything of it. Um, so it is a good thing that we are being sort of more mindful and more aware. Um, but the discussion has been um, like really intense over the last couple of years in Holland. Now I'm like, I live in the UK, so I'm not right into it, but I see stuff on social media and in the, like in, on telly and stuff. I watch Dutch telly quite a bit. Um, and yeah, it is, it, it takes the fun out of it. Um, but like I said, they're, they're trying different things uh, to keep sort of the spirit of Zwarte Beat. Um, uh, because Zwarte Beat isn't the lesser than figure anymore, like it used to be when, you know, when my mum was younger. Um, but he's, um, yeah, he's sort of like the more fun character in this whole little play. Um, so yeah, uh, it is a tradition that I still quite like because it brings back like really good memories for me. But I also understand that for other people it might not bring back that many fun memories. And I hope um, that with actual adult discussion, um, Holland will find a way to uh, keep what we want to keep. And, you know, get rid of the elements of the festival that might be hurtful to some people. We've now seen, like I said, clowns, different colours. Um, and they're now going with sort of like just little bits of black here and there because of the soot from the chimneys. So that makes sense. Um, but the problem is if you don't completely uh, put face um, uh, paint over a person, it's very easy to see who's who. Um, because, and um, like, see, so the glass is on telly a lot. <laughs> The, um, uh, where he arrives in the country is on telly and then there's a Sinterklaas um, newscast like a, a little news item um, every evening for the little ones is about 10 minutes is this ongoing story um, and uh, yeah so he's on telly a lot and um, that's all fine because those are actors that the kids won't know um, even though they might, you know, as they get a bit older and start to sort of like hmm, question things, they might recognise some people. But um, in the community, in people's families, it's often the neighbour or an uncle or, uh, you know, a family member uh, or a friend um, who is the Svartabit who comes to bring your presents. Uh, because often it's not Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas is expensive, if you, as you can imagine, like the outfit is quite That was a look on a door, but it wasn't Zwarte Beat, it was uh, Amazon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just hope that uh, we'll find a way to continue with the festivities because it is a lot of fun, um, even for adults, because they exchange presents and um, yeah, put little rhymes with your present because Sinterklaas writes in rhymes, he writes letters to you, but he writes them in rhymes, which is quite a challenge. Um, but yeah, uh, I just hope that they'll be able to sort of figure out a way to, um, yeah, to keep, to make people happy and uh, so that this can once again be something for everyone to enjoy. Um, so yeah, that was it for today. I just wanted to share that and um, yeah, for everyone, all the Dutchies out there, hope you have a lovely Cinder Glass uh, if you're still celebrating and um, yeah, for everyone else <laughs> and the Dutchies, you can join as well. Um, I've got a reading that I'm giving away, three actually, and if you want to have a chance of winning one of them, please put reading in your comments and I will put your name in a bowl. You can enter more than once if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to stop that, like stop entering more people the night from the 19th to the 20th at midnight. 
um, UK time, so GMT. So if you want to figure out when that is in, in your time, uh, I don't know. I find that I find that also always so difficult. I always have to Google it. Um, so yes, uh, and then on the 21st, I will pick the three names of the lucky winners. So um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.